Well, I think this, this landscape is changing. Uh, we currently use mitostorin in combination with intensive chemotherapy based on the successful uh, study, the Ratify study that showed a survival benefit for patients with newly diagnosed FLT3 ITD or FLT3 TKD mutations um, by adding mitostorin uh, during induction consolidation and maintenance on that study. And, and worldwide practices differ a little in terms of when mitostorin is used. Um, the kind of new player in, in terms of this uh, equation is, is Quisartinib from the Quantum First study um, and is currently being looked at by regulatory agencies. Uh, the FDA is supposed to weigh in on that in the coming weeks as to whether it will be approved for frontline therapy. Uh, given a significant improvement in overall survival compared to placebo, uh, we are hopeful that Quisartinib will be approved for this indication. And you know the, the challenge in the current era is uh, placebo is no longer an appropriate standard of care given the approval of mitostorin. So there are ongoing studies looking at can a newer, more potent, more selective LIT3 inhibitor improve outcomes relative to mitostorin. And so those studies are still ongoing. A, a study called Pasha in Europe, uh, the PRECOG study in America looked at gilteritinib versus mitostorin. Uh, the ARO021 uh, uh, study will be looking at cronolinib versus mitostorin, another uh, second generation FLT3 inhibitor. And we'll see whether these newer drugs are superior. There's no comparison to quisartinib uh, other than the placebo comparison. So again, you know, we won't know relative to that drug what the optimal uh, drug is. But I think these days there's going to be choices and we can pick and choose for which patient we might think of one FLT3 inhibitor versus another. And the only kind of final thing to throw out there with regard to Plisartinib is because it's a type two inhibitor, it's not active against FLT3 TKDs as a single agent, but it being combined with uh, intensive chemotherapy. If the patient only had a FLT3 TKD, I don't know the relative benefit of it in that setting.